BP decided to show off his creation with a rally at the Crystal Palace in London. Among the 10,000 Boy Scouts gathered that day was a small but conspicuous group. Suddenly, we saw a figure coming towards us. And of course, we knew at once that it was Baden Pearl. So we scrambled down the bank and we made a line and he came up and said to the patrol leader, and what the dickens do you think you are doing here? And the patrol leader said, we want to be Girl Scouts. And he replied almost instantly, oh no, it's only for the boys. Well then we broke our line and we gathered round him and we said, oh please, please, something for the girls. BP had not planned on anything for the girls. He feared that including them in scouting would turn many boys away from the program. However, he did feel that women had an important role to play as efficient homemakers and cheery companions. So he created a separate movement for them. BP handed the task of leading the girl guides to his sister, a 50-year-old spinster who had little experience beyond the confines of her mother's parlor. Agnes Baden-Powell fashioned the girl guides after the Victorian ideal of womanhood and titled her handbook, What Girls Can Do to Help Build Up the Empire. Emancipation for women was a long way off.